finally, finally, finally the news is out. But look, flip flops. Remember these, Jazz? Yeah. Took those and mozzie spray. Oh my goodness, as you can just see from what I've just clicked, we've just booked to go to Sharm El Sheikh in like 29 days time. I'm so excited, I cannot tell you. It's been over two years since we've traveled. And Sharm El Sheikh is the place that I, if I could only ever go back to one place, it would be the place. So Jasmine and I are gonna go, we are so excited. We're gonna, we're gonna take you with us. This is like an actual dream come true. To be getting the passports back out again is just amazing. Um, in case you haven't seen one as well, this is mum's. This is a, one of the new British passports, but we're gonna be traveling again, Jasmine. I can't wait. Can't wait. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up this year and Oh, wow, amazing, amazing. All right, it's many days after we booked our trip. Now, there's a pro you, can, you can know this by the time this video goes live. My son and his girlfriend are also going to Sharm El Sheikh, and I don't think I told you that before. So this is the plan, because it's a surprise for her 21st birthday. She doesn't know about this yet. But what we're doing is we're gonna lend them our suitcases, and we've just found, I mean, it looks pretty horrific. It looks very... Um, what's his name Hannibal Lecter um but we found the snorkel stuff for them to take we're lending them that sort of stuff and like I say the suitcases and this which is I told you about this before so you can plug your USB stuff in there and and charge straight up but what we can't find is my little suitcase that has got everything in it it's got all of my bikinis all of my throws my snorkel stuff because didn't I have a grey one jazz yes. oh and on top of all of this jasmine has now got covid19 um so we're trying to find this little suitcase which we've had a really good look all over the place and we can't find it if suitcases aren't that small they can't just it's no disappear. i mean it is one that it's the one that i took to bosnia i don't think i've had it because i haven't been anywhere i haven't stayed anywhere where i've been with just that little hand luggage but if I can't find it, I've literally got no bikinis and throws and things that's gonna, I'm gonna have to buy the whole lot again. And where do you get that in, what is it's February. Where'd you get that this time of year? Don't know. Anyway. Finally, finally, finally the news is out. So, see this. Isn't that such a cute bag? Um, in there is all sorts of goodies for my son's girlfriend who is 21 today. Now I'm able to then tell you and tell the whole world what's going on because it's been top, top secret. She has been surprised today for her 21st birthday with a trip to Sharm El Sheikh and she knows nothing about Sharm El Sheikh and I'm hoping to enlighten her later. Um, Sharm El Sheikh and I have got a long, long love affair, let me tell you about it. Um, but first things first, she is she like, couldn't stop crying because she wasn't knowing that she was going to go there and, and oh yeah it's just amazing so she's gone um to see her family now and i'm hoping that later on i'm going to be able to catch up with her i'm keeping away from jasmine because jasmine has covid19 and unfortunately going and seeing them later there's a risk obviously that i'm going to give it to my son who hasn't had it so his girlfriend his girlfriend has and um, yeah, so I'm gonna to have to be very careful because they need to obviously test to get out to Egypt so he doesn't want to take COVID with him, etc. But anyway, I'm really excited to be able to speak to her about um, Egypt and Sharm El Sheikh and Coral Sea Resort, which is where they are going. And it's also where Jasmine and I are going. Massive news, very excited. If you've been around on this channel for a long time, when I very first started my YouTube channel, which is 11 years ago this year, uh, was about the last time that I went. I think 10 years ago was when I last went to um, Egypt. So obviously there was a lot went on um, out there and they stopped the planes for quite some time. And then just as they let them back out, three months, four months later, we went into lockdown. So unfortunately, there's been a lot of travel that's been stopped to Sharm El Sheikh uh, specifically. And yeah, it's sad. I love Egypt. It's one of my favorite places ever to go to. And I'm going to talk uh, I'll just give you a little trigger warning, something about health, but I'm not going to go into the gory details. 
but I am going to talk to you about a bit of a dark, a morbid time that I had in my mind, which is why you'll understand I'm so excited that we are going back out there. So, um, last year at the, well, just over a year ago, um, you see, I've got this dot on my face. So I had skin cancer removed from my chest and they're kind of looking at this one at the minute. That wasn't the thing that made me feel morbid. I had precancerous cells in my cervix and, um, you can't help but sort of think, mm, what if, you know, mm, what if my days are numbered, which I think in a way we should all kind of live like that because it makes you think, actually, I'm going to make life happen. I'm going to go and do this thing. And all I kept thinking about was if I could only go to one place again, where would that be? And the place is Sharm El Sheikh. Um, I love Sharm. I've had some great memories there. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, if you've been here from 10 years ago, there was a whole video series that I've actually now deleted and I deleted them completely. So I can't show you those again. Um, but there's quite a story of what went on in Sharm and I've probably been out there. I don't know, maybe 15, 20 times, something like that. And I think we've stayed at Coral Sea about four or five, six, seven, eight. No, it must be more than five because, yeah, maybe six or seven times we've stayed at Coral Sea because you used to get a plaque to put on the tree. I'll show you our tree when we go out there. So if you haven't already subscribed to this with this channel, make sure you do because we're going to be taking you to Shamal Shake with us. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't begin to tell you. So there's a whole story and the reason that I want to go out there is nothing to do with the romance that I had or anything like that. But that was my last official relationship, which was such a long time ago now. And I just feel like, yeah, just feel like the single girl for, for such a long time. But I love it. I love walking the pier and going and looking at the fish and the staff are so attentive and so nice. And I've been in touch with them this week because we're trying to get a room request. Now at Coral Sea particularly, you're facing the sea. This side of the hotel is called the sunny side. The other side is in the shade the majority of the time. You might like that, you might not, but I wanna be in the sunny side. Um, and we've asked for a ground floor room as well. And being in touch with them and somebody called Ibrahim getting back to me with um, information and me signing off with Shukran, you know, things like that. It does make you think, oh, this is so real. There's actually somebody else at the other end of this dream who's helping us organise a trip out there. And it's just amazing. So I'm so excited to be taking Nathan and Beth to the airport on Wednesday. We've got suitcases ready for them, snorkeling gear. In fact, I need to go and see if I can find my own snorkeling gear. Can't find that in a minute, but we've got Jasmine's. Um, some pound coins for them to tip with because who has pound coins in change now, except for me where I keep them in a piggy bank. Um, and what else have we got to take? Oh, the plugs and all of that. So I'm like, there's no point in having two lots of this. So yeah, so I'm hoping to see them later with the suitcases, give her her presents. Oh yes, I didn't tell you. So in here is an envelope for Beth and her gift from Jasmine and I is a trip to Ras Mohammed. And Ras Mohammed is an amazing boat that you go on out to the Southern Peninsula. It's a, you know that, Egypt kind of goes like that shape, doesn't it? At the bottom there is Ras Mohammed and it is one of the dive centers of the world. Now, none of us are able to dive because either we're too scared or me, I've got, I've had surgery on my ears, so that's not allowed, but I do love a good snorkel. Um, and for me, that was a game changing, life changing trip. The first time I went out there, I was on this boat and I was like, what's life about a uh, whole story about that about how life changed for me and how i discovered the law of attraction when i was in egypt that's my son's just got in touch i need to see what he needs um i will be back to talk to you more about that but i am so excited that this is the day it's the day that's here yay and i'm able to tell them that i've bought them this trip um between Jasmine and I. So then we're sending them to Ras Mohammed next Sunday. Oh, so excited for them. Hopefully um, I might get some footage from them so I can show you that as well. So what did we find, Harley? Yes, we found the suitcase and it has got, uh, hasn't got the snorkels in. Actually, what's in the front? I'm just saying in the front. This suitcase, Jasmine, is what I took when I went to Bosnia and Herzegovina for the whole week. It's not as big as I remember it. It's not big, but it's really, if you pack it well, you can get so much in it. Right, sorry about this, Harley. Getting in your way. Okay. So in here, <laughs> look how strange, Jasmine. How exciting. I remember someone telling me that I could always be seen from NASA, from space. Um, some of the elastic-y things have gone in some of these cozies. But look, flip-flops. Remember these, Jazz? 
Yeah. Took those. And mozzie spray. This feels so weird. Um, and this, look, what's in here? This is what I take on the plane. Really strange to think there's hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, hand cream. You never used it though. This because you always get wrinkly on the plane. Um, or actually, oh yeah, foaming bath soap, nice. And a little disposable toothbrush. I need to get a new one of them because it's a bit old. Yeah, hand sanitizer. Look, strawberry. Well, they used to call it hand gel back then. Hand gel. You want to smell? So yeah, I need to try all these things on um, and give them a damn good wash because they've all obviously been away for a long time. I like spots. <laughs> uh, very exciting, isn't it? Oh, you're not coming. No, that's not nice. Look at this gorgeous sunset. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? What a nice evening. Right, I'm sorry that it's so dark. I'm gonna take those off because you're really gonna get a glow otherwise from me. So I'm just on my way now to go and meet Nathan and Beth for the evening. And we're gonna have a lovely meal. Unfortunately, Jasmine can't join us because she has COVID. And Nathan doesn't know. So I booked them the trip to Ras Mohammed between Jasmine and I for Beth's 21st birthday present. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm stoked that he's gonna get a surprise as well because he's done so much for her today and it's gonna be lovely. So they're on a countdown now. They've got four days before they fly. Absolutely incredible. And I'm really excited to be sharing this evening with them. Um, so yeah, it's lovely. I'm a bit gutted Jasmine isn't with us, but it is what it is. What can you do, you know? So watch this space. Really happy returns. So she's going to open her presents in a second. That's my son. Say hi to her. Hi. <laughs> so go on then, go on then. I can't see you. They're in order. I have to do them. Um, yeah, do that, top, that one first. Oh, that's cute. That's the one for my sisters. Even the fancy wrapper. Yeah. 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 friend i'm gonna just have a quick chat with you aren't we darling so we've been to primark as you do when you're going away and um bought some bits and pieces for holiday that i'm going to show you also we just booked our airport parking and our wife's son had sat and done a load of wrecking up so to go in a lounge at the minute the lounges are still open it was going to cost 45 pounds for the two of us he's ready for holiday as well um, and we opted against that. I thought we would say no. We also looked at staying over, but we we're only an hour from the airport to get a good run. 
but sometimes it can be worth you staying over because you get your parking sort of for free and then you don't need a lounge because you can stay there longer and have your breakfast and whatnot but anyway we booked the parking no hotel no lounge so 45 pound for lounge hotel was 170 including parking or parking on its own was about 70 pounds so we've done that we've done a week's parking at the um purple parking which is a bit of a pain because you have to take your your stuff there drop it up dro uh, drop your car off take all your suitcases on the bus and whatnot now because i've got problems with the frozen shoulder and and oh my goodness are we keeping you awake um i don't know if carrying the stuff's going to be difficult but i'm sure they must have, you know, help there for people that have got accessible issues and stuff like that. But anyway, we booked the parking, so that was really interesting. And we have been to Primark, haven't we? Well, well you didn't, did you? He didn't come. I feel like I've got a ventriloquist. <laughs> How funny. But starting to get really excited now. Now, Nathan and his girlfriend are going tomorrow. And I'm going to be dropping them off. Um, I'm picking them up. At, well, I'm leaving here at half four in the morning. And that's a feeling that you only get don't you when you're going on holiday do you know what i mean and it's just oh, so exciting okay i bought some stuff in here that i want to show you because they've got they just got some really really cute bits of primark first things first is a this is like a like a nighty sort of thing it's a long one and it's got poppies on uh what are they called pansies pansies all over it it's a really cute color and it's almost satiny um and the price was 12 pounds but i thought this is one of those things it's got little straps it's one of those that you can just slip over especially when you've got your moisturizer and all of that on because i hate that i hate having moisturizer on and then putting clothes over the top do you know what i mean so i've got that because obviously i'm sharing a room with jasmine um, I think that'd be great. Now this, you're going to love this. This is so holiday, holiday fired. It is a sarong and I've never had a sarong. And what I'm thinking, in case you don't know, I had skin cancer surgery last year. At the part of me is really gutted about that. Part of me is just like, you know what? I'm just going to enjoy the sun, but be careful. So I'm going to use my high factor. I'm going to keep covered up. Um, and I'm gonna, to be honest, sitting in the shade sometimes more comfortable, isn't it? But yeah, isn't this is really sarong and it's very, very, very soft and it was really cheap. It's only four pounds. So you can just do it up. And I thought I might be able to sort of do it up under so that I can cover this chest area up. Cause you know, you should look after your skin anyway. And I, but I've been super careful with it since because I've always been a little bit of a sun worshiper. And this color you can see now is out of a bottle. Oh, what that is. How much fun is this hat? Look, oh, it needs straightening up. Jasmine said that there's a really good tip all that the, the all the YouTubers and stuff do online, right? Um, of it's very big. I didn't think my head was that small, but it's very big. Um, and you fill up when you're packing it. You fill up this bit with like underwear and stuff and it keeps it from being really too flat but i'm sure a couple of days on a shelf and that's gonna sort of sort itself out and it's only four pounds so i know these are a bit standard and a bit ordinary but they're really stretchy and i just thought yeah and they were two pound fifty i tried on all of my bikinis and things and um they fit and I'm chuffed to the bits that they fit because I've gained a stone since we went to Mexico. I did sort of lose a stone and then I've gained a stone. So, you know, um, don't do the mass and go, but it's the same thing. <laughs> anyway, never mind. But they all fit, so that's cool. Um, I bought myself a new throw over though, and I wasn't sure about it. Um, it was expensive, I think, for what it is, but it is quite nice just to sort of be a bit decent if you're getting up to go to the toilet but i have got a few things like that and you've probably seen my one where i was in montenegro drinking my coffee with my sunglasses on uh looking very low looking very very much me in fact i think the print was similar to this sort of print anyway uh so that's that and then we just got some socks and stuff like that because when you're away on holiday and you're walking barefoot everywhere your feet get very dry and my heels can be known to crack so I tend to really put some lotion on them at night time and put a pair of socks on because I love being barefoot barefoot on the sand is just like oh. 
but you've got to look after those feet. So, also, we bought a couple of these because just because and I know I should put my phone number on the back of those. Um, my dad always had a thing about putting your address on there because he's like, people can see your address and they know you're away. And I'm like, oh, whatever, that's a bit overthinking. But it's only £1.50, so I've got two of those one for each, me and Jasmine. Oh, yeah. Now, I normally wear prescription sunglasses because. I just like them, but how funky are these? <laughs> Do you not think they're really groovy? And especially on the head. I, I can imagine my hair a bit messy, be really curly wearing it, ponytail, these on my head. Fun times to be had. I bought one of these. Do you know what? You can't go wrrong with these. These little cami tops that are just, they do for everything. They go over shorts. They go under this and this tied up in the front. You can make no ends of things with them. And then Jasmine and I also got some other sunglasses that we're probably going to share because this, honestly, they were so cheap. They was like three pounds a pop. I reckon I like them. Bit star skin hutch. If you're old enough to know who they are, I was a twinkle in my father's eye at the time. Um, and ever had a twinkle in his eye actually bless him um and these ones are really nice that these have got um a turtle shell or something around them obviously not real and then we bought in boots they're doing three for two on miniatures at the minute oh one of them's not here because i bought for nathan and his girlfriend a little miniature that's all right darling a little miniature um mozzie spray Gave them all the tips about mozzie spray. I'll tell you that when we're actually out there, because I'll show you what it is I do. But we also bought some miniature of these. So this is only a fact of 15, but I do really like high and high and Hawaiian Tropic, and I do like the oil. I like the way it feels on your skin. But we also bought this um, Bondi Sand. So it's a tannin milk, but I thought it would be quite moisturising because it's got cocoa butter. Well, it says cocoa butter scent. Um, and I just thought that's quite a nice little size to lather on when you've finished, when you've come out of the shower in the evening and it give you a little bit of gradual tan as well. So exciting, isn't it? Very, very excited. Right, I'm gonna make another video which is gonna be announcing to the world that we're going, or what am I doing? End this with a little bit of footage of Gatwick and the kids going off, oh my God. And then the next time I'll talk to you will be a bit more in depth about Egypt. How do you feel about that? Does that sound good? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So after this next bit of footage, which will be me blurry eyed in the morning, um, I'm going to then speak to you about Egypt, what happened in Egypt, why I love this place so much. Uh, it's going to be quite a deep video, but I'm excited for it. He's going to sleep on my arm. Yeah, okay, so stay tuned if you're new here. Um, hello. I'm Louise, please subscribe and leave the video a thumbs up and talk to me in the comments down there. So if you've watched to this far, hashtag Waterworld in the comments below and I'll know that you're super precious. So well done you and let me know if you're going anywhere. I can't wait. There's so many people starting to buy their holiday stuff now, which is absolutely incredible. Really amazing. So yeah, very happy about that. Um, okay, I'm going to go now and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye for now.